Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of Windows 10 over top of your uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 uh, operating system. Keeping in mind that a clean install wipes all your data, everything will be gone. All right, but what you'll end up with is a totally fresh Windows 10 install on your machine, fully activated without actually having a Windows 10 uh, key, right? Like CD key type thing if you purchased it and you had a key. So, so it's going to activate, uh, authorize itself by the operating system you're, op you're installing over top of. Well, actually that is replacing because it's not going to install over top of it. That's the point of the clean install, right? So uh, make sure all your data is backed up. That, you know what you're doing in that regard that's beyond the scope of this video realize that you're only going to have Windows 10 no preferences no data nothing from your original operating system okay so uh, the first thing you need is the, uh, the Windows 10 install okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go online okay and we're going to go to this website here microsoft.com you can see it in the address bar here I will put the link in the description of this video okay so this is the download Windows 10 page all right and uh, you know it tells you you need a product key but what we're gonna do you don't need a product key okay uh, your Windows 7 or Windows 8 machine uh, needs to be legitimate right and uh, there are ways uh, to check and make sure that you're compatible with Windows 10, right? You don't want to try this if your system's not ready. Again, that's beyond the scope of this video. But if you know you're ready, you want to install, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to download, in our case, the 64-bit uh, version, okay? And we're going to run that. Okay, we're going to verify that we want it to run. Okay, so when it comes up to run you have the choice of upgrading your PC which won't be a clean install you can go ahead and do that if that's what you really want to do but we want the clean install so we're going to click on create installation media for another PC and we're going to click next okay make sure that you uh, select the correct language all right uh, this is a Windows 7 Pro machine that we're upgrading so you want to match the operating system that you're replacing okay because they're not going to let you go from home to pro you know it's home to home pro to pro etc so we're going to go to windows 10 pro and we're 64 bit okay so this is the installation media that we're going to create we're going to click next uh, you can put it onto a flash drive or onto an iso file um, in my case, an ISO file, easy to burn to a DVD and stick in my DVD collection. So I'm going to do it that way. If what you have is a USB flash drive, no problem. You can do the same procedure. Doesn't matter which media that you have it on. Okay. So you know, go ahead and click next. All right. Um, it just calls it Windows.ISO, but I'm going to put Windows 10 Pro. All right and go ahead and click save and now this process is going to take a long time all right um, so i'm going to pause the video and then once the dvd is created and i can access that uh, i'm going to resume the video okay uh, to create the dvd from the iso um, there's for example a free software called uh, I think it's CD Burner XP Pro. Okay, you can Google that, download that. If you don't have any other way to do it, that should get you the ISO onto a disk so that you can do the next step. All right. So I'll pause now and we'll continue uh, when the DVD is complete. Okay, so the DVD is created. I've popped it into the machine here and 
Windows 7 pops up and says, what would you like to do? Would you like to run setup? Okay. If this autoplay window does not pop up for you, yeah, in which case, if it does, you can just click on run setup, right? But if it doesn't, let's pretend it didn't, right? Uh, we can go into Windows Explorer here, go down to the DVD drive, okay? And you'll see setup there. If you don't have uh, view extensions on, it'll just say setup without the .exe, but it should have the same little icon. Hopefully you can see the icon here in the uh, video, but uh, I guess it's the only file here named setup. So let's go ahead, we'll double click on that and we'll say yes. Okay, and the whole process begins of uh, upgrading your system or doing the clean install. I'm going to pause at times here so that we're not waiting too long so I can show you the critical part where you tell it not to keep anything at all. Okay, so one of the first screens we come to is get important updates and would you like to download and install those? Normally I would do that, but uh, for the sake of brevity at this point, it does say you can get them later from Windows Update. Um, I'm going to say not at the moment, thank you, and I'm going to click next. bit more waiting here. Okay, of course, at some point, this is what's going to happen. Accept the license terms. So go ahead and click on accept. And I think it might have just skipped what we were wanting there. Oh, we'll see in a moment. No, okay, I, I saw the what to keep heading flash by and I thought, oh my god, we've missed our chance, but uh, in this screen, what needs your attention? Um, it's warning me that uh, my display language will change, that's fine, uh, but if I click on change what to keep here, this is where uh, we can implement a fully clean install by choosing nothing, okay? So you do have these other options keep personal files, apps, and Windows settings, right? So it'll try and mirror all of your uh, customizations in, you know, whatever operating system that you initially had, right? Or you could go for just the Windows 10 and your personal files, right? And then applications, etc., will just won't be there. Um, but I'm going for clean, clean here, so we don't want to keep anything click on nothing and click next. Okay, so we're back here and we have to click OK to this uh, little bit that of what needs my attention, the, the language bit, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. And now the installation will pretty much take care of itself. Once I click this button here, install, bottom right hand corner. Okay, so this portion can take, you know, an hour, several hours, maybe less than an hour, depends on your system and its speed, etc. But um, after this, when the computer boots to your Windows desktop, you'll just have Windows 10 and you won't have to worry about any residual junk that was uh, hanging around on your computer being there. Restore your data to your computer and you're flying high. All right, hopefully this was useful. Uh, please comment if you have any comments, etc. Thanks for watching.